the Magistrate Court of Lagos. It's 9 a.m. November 17, 2020. It's the D-Day of the court hearing of one of the active pro enters protesters in Lagos, Nigeria, Eremosele Adene. Now, how this case would swing at the end of the day is still very much uncertain. Florence Adene is Eremosele's mother. She makes her way to court alone with her husband hopeful to secure justice. I'm standing with this Sorosoke generation. This is not the of the mic generation. This is the Sorosoke generation. We want a better Nigeria, and we are not compromising that. They have to free Eroms Adene. Protest is fundamental human rights, and we are fully in support of Eroms Adene. The court seating is built for 9 a.m., but it is 10.03 a.m., and there is no sign of the magistrate or the court officials. The court premises turns a little rowdy as some maldrama ensues as friends and sisters of Aramisele are not allowed into the premises of the court. After an hour, the magistrate sits and the hearing commences. Eremosele Adene steps into the witness box. The allegations brought against him by the Nigerian police force is cyber stalking, provoking a breach of the public peace, tantamount to terrorism by his active involvement in the peaceful NSES protest. The lead defense counsel is Adeshino Ogunlano, and the court grants Eremosele bail. I feel today's judgment was good. Today's judgment was fantastic. Unlike yesterday, the court today, the magistrate today, everything was everything was good. Ramosele means my prayer is answered. That's in his name. And we have prayed today and God has answered us again. He has been answering us before he was born. He has been answering us since when he was born and he's still answering us. Even in his situation, he's still answering us. They are trying to criminalize protests and all that. And we told the court that you've used 11 days to arrest him, you mean you've not investigated enough? You want to derogate from his fundamental rights and enshrine the Constitution? The judge agree with us. The, 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 the bail conditions looks a bit tough, but not too tough. We hope it could be better. One, that sh there should be two shorties. The shorties should be blood relations, family members, and then they should, one should have a landed property, and then they should be taxpayers, and their bond is one million naira. Not that they're going to pay. It's not security for bail. It's another taking that if the gentleman should run away from trial, the shorty will pay one million naira. Meanwhile, as the defense counsel formalizes the terms of his bail, police investigations into the October NSAS protest is far from over. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.